good once again my name is graphics if you look at the top right corner of your screen you see a figure and we're told to reproduce that figure in isometric now to give you a clearer view about this figure this is what we have now if you look closely this is what we are trying to reproduce like I told you earlier, if you are told to draw an isometric, you will draw your axis at 30 degree and your vertical axis to a 90, right? Knowing full well that the length, the total length here is what? Is 60. From the beginning to the ending is what? 60. So let's draw that and see. So I'm drawing my axis. Axis of, um, let's have a draw is vertical. Then you draw it inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal. Right? Then you turn it this way. Do the same thing. This is the first thing you do, and I told you length is 60. So I'm going to work measure 60 from this point to this point here is 60, right? Now we've already drawn the length here to be 60. The total height, if you watch closely, from this center, this is the center, right? Is the center that means the total diameter of the circle is given to be 80 so it means that from this top here to this center is 40 and from here to the other center to the other end is another one another 40 right so it means that i will add 40 to 60 will make it 100 right you add 40 to 60 make it 100 then from 60 upward is 75 so we're writing it out 40 from the base of the circle to the center and from the center to this center here is 75 so 40 plus 75 then if you look at this the radius of this is 15 so plus what plus 15 so we'll be having this is 90 plus 40 that would be 130 so the entire height is 130 so let's do that so I'm going to measure 130 as the total height. So from 0, straight up to 130 here, to 13 is 130. So that is where I have at this point here. Now the next thing is to draw the total length. Now let's see. Now if you look at the total width here, we've gotten the length, which is 60. What in the height to say it is 130, then the length, I mean the width, let's see. From this center here, look at the, uh, the line here, to this center here is 140. But the half, the completion of it is radius 15. So it means that 15 from here to the remaining part is 15. From here to the remaining part is 15. So 15 plus 15 is 30 plus 140, that would be 170. So the total length. The total width is 170. Now I'll take my meter rule. I'm going to measure 170. So I'll take this. I'll be starting from 1. Right? I'll start from 1. And I'll measure 18. This is 170. I'm starting from 1. 2. That means from 18 to 1. 17. So I started from 0 to stop at 17. So that is my 170 that we have there. Now, after doing that, we will now raise them up using your um, set square. So at this point 60, I'm going to raise it up. You can see that. And I'll move it to the other point again. At the point 170, I'm going to raise it up. Right. Now, I will take it. Up to this point where I am going to close it up from this point 
through down here. So close it off here. Then from here with my rule, I'm going to take it out to the other side. So let's move that and see. So from this point. I'll move this to this point. You can see that. Then the other point to here. I'll move it too. To this point here. Then I'm going to close it up. So I've closed it up here. And this is what we are actually having. Let me take it back. We're going to see. Now, I've completed the box at which we want to carve out that shape that is shown, that is displayed at the right top corner of the screen. Now, if you look at it very well, you will discover that this circle is at the center of the box. So the first thing we have to do, we need to get the center of that box where we can start drawing our circle. So let's get the center first. Now the center here, we said earlier that the length of this is 170. So the center will be 85. So let's see that. So if I place it this way, we know from here to here is 170. Right? If you look at it closely, it is 170. So I just need the half of it right so that will give us um from here from zero this will be 70 85 half of it will be what 85 is that again so we measure 85 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 85 because 85 plus 85 will give you 170 so I'm going to now draw that point up this way. Just with my faint line first. Right? Now we've done that. The next thing we'll do is that if you look at the figure closely, you discover that the diameter of the external circle is 80. So I need 40. So I'm going to mark 40 up, right? Where I'm going to draw another center line. Because of the diameter of this other circle here is 80, so let me mark 40. So I'll take my meter rule with the help of my meter rule and my compass. I'll measure 40. This is 40 here, which is half of 80. Right? And I'll place it at this point. I'll mark up. I'll come to this point. I'll mark another up here. You can see. Then I can easily strike my to the left and also to the right you see why i said so now so with the help of my t square and c square i'll draw a line that will pass through that point this way through that center line which is this i'll draw a line that will just touch here right so we have four points now this point this point this point and this point here so I will now use it to form a box. So forming a box, I'll be having this. This. Then I'll stand it up this way. To pass through that, this point. To touch the base. Come to this point also. I'll do the same thing. To touch here. Now I've brought out this box in which I'm going to um, draw my isometric cycle. So let's do that first. Once I take my meter rule, if you look at this diagonal and this diagonal, this is longer. So I'll join the longer part. I'm going to join the longer part from this point like this. Can see that 
then I will take this point to touch here then I will take this point to touch here you can see that so where they meet is where I'm going to draw the first circle of diameter 80 which is in form of ellipse because we are drawing in isometric so with the help of that I will have this I'll place it at this point here to this edge here I'll gauge it and ensure that it is well placed right then I'm going to draw this now after doing that i'll come to that point here also i'll repeat the same thing on this point i'll get it and i'll have this I see that and I'll come to this ending point here I'll take it to this point where I'm going to draw the other one also right so from this point one digit to touch touching here you see that and I'll come to this point also I'll replicate the same thing to this point here to touch here. So this is the first thing we'll do, right? So the next thing we're going to do here, let's see. If you look at this, we've drawn this outside circle, this bigger one. Now we want to draw the smaller one, but the diameter of the smaller one is 60. Right, so I'll use 30 to mark. So let's do that now. So I'm going to take my meter rule and I'm going to measure millimeter 30 millimeter on my meter rule this way from here to this point is 30, and I'll place it at the center here. I'll mark up 30, down 30 left 30 then right 30 so with the help of my c square i will draw vertical lines to so this draw this this way first come to the next one from this point i'll draw the second one this way then i'll bend it this way from this point, I'll draw another line that will touch here, straight down to here. Then, from this point also, I'll draw another one that will touch here, straight down to here. Now, if you notice it, I have bring out another box, which is ranging from here, 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 and here. The good news here, they have one diagonal line. So what I'm going to do is I'll use my rule from this point or this point here, any of them. I'll draw a line that will touch here. Then draw the same line that will touch here. So we have these two points. So that is where I'll place my compass. So the compass will be here with radius at this edge here. I'm going to draw my circle. I'll gauge it. So it starts. Then I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing. I'll gauge it before I start drawing. So here, sorry, here. So I'll gauge it. I start drawing. I'm 
right then i'll place it here to this point i'll also give it to my brush here then i'll come to the other end here i'll give it to come on top here now i've drawn out the two circle now let's see what else we are going to do now we have drawn these two circle now what do you notice this will be drawn to the back right i'll take this to the back i'll draw this to where to the back so let's see how that goes so like i said i'm going to project we to stop to stop at the length of 60 so let me just take this back that is one of the um, benefits of drawing out your box so this is this line here no matter what it must not pass this line so i'll project this point to the back line here the help of my extra square so this is where we'll stop i'll come here also i'll do here the same thing too and i'll close it up So from this point here, this is where the circle start rising up. So repeat the same thing here. So let me complete that box. Let me complete the box. Let me complete the box. Now the box is out already. Now we have a diagonal that ranges from this end point to this point here. Right? Then I will trace the center to meet this outside center here. I will trace it since they are the same. Trace it this point. I will not rule a line. I will just trace the point to this point and I will mark here. Right? So from that point, that is where I'm going to draw my arc. I'll show you the arc I'm talking about. So from here, I've gotten the point. So no matter what I do, it must not pass here. It must not pass there. It's not taken. So let's do that and see. And these two mustn't pass here. So instead of me redoing the construction I did here, I'm just transferring points so i transfer this point there to reduce the amount of lines we have so if i want to do i'll just come here if you look at the top right corner of your screen i'll place my compass here right and gauge it to this point the target is from here down to this point just like this no good from here down to this point so what I'll just do is, I'll just draw this this way. You can see that. I'll just draw a faint line that way. And I'll project this point here to this point here. So it is a thick line. So I'm going to take in it. Then I'll take in this one. Can I see that? So look at what I'm showing you. This is what I'm drawing here. This arc here. So I successfully brought it out. Then I'll project this a little bit up since I don't know the end of that line so I'll just put it a little bit up with my thick line so with the help of my rule I'll project it a little bit up with my thick line this way now the next thing I'm going to do is to start from the top here and project this now 
If you look at from the top here, the thickness between these two from here to this point here is given as what? 15. So first of all, bring out the 15. First of all, so let's see. This point here, which is this point, which is this point at the back here, I'll measure 15 inward. So let me measure the 15 inward. From here, this is the 15 I want to measure. This is 0 to here is 15. And now with the of my C square, I'm going to project it to the end here with my faint line. Can you see that? Then the next thing I'll do is this. So let's look at that. After that, we'll do this. So I have measured 15 from this back forward here 15. Now if you look at this, they give us a radius of what? Of 15. So the radius of this is 15. Right? So I'm going to measure from the end of this line 15 inward. Right? And 15 again. That means the diameter is 30. That's what I'm trying to tell you here. This is what I will do here. From this end point here, I'm going to measure 15 from here inward. So let me use the apple. I compass or measure 15 inward. This is 15 here, right? And I'll place it at this point. I'll measure 15 in here and another 15 here, right? So I'll do it both up and down. Then here also, since I measure 15 here, I'll also measure 15 here and 15 here so to give me my box that i want so let's do that and see so I'll project this down this way project this down this way and then i'll cover it up this way then I'll cover here or two this way. Then I've gotten out the box out. So I'll do the same thing. Just move my point from here with the help of my first square and two square. I'll get it to this point. Try to form a box. Then to this point like this. Then bring this out. I'll close it up to give me something like this. Right, so I'm having a diagonal here this way, then another diagonal here this way. You can see that. So, this is where I am going to draw my circle. Now, if you look at the end here, we brought out that box, and this box here is there's a curve here that's joining this to this both at the front and at the back, right? So these are the box I want to bring out. The circle in this box. So this is what we have. So apply my line, the method of constructing the ellipse at this point here. Drain my symmetric circle. I'll just complete this this way. Then bring this down. Paint line, right? So I'm just transferring those points, the center point here. Place so this for here. And this. So what I'll do is, I will take a line from this point to the top here, and from this point. To this point here, just the same method of constructing the isometric circle, and I'll place my compass at this end. So if you look at the top right corner, it's only the diameter of it that we need half of the circle of the circle. So I'll project this to this point.
I see that. Then I'll come here also on this point here. And I'll complete this. No, I'll brought that out, right? So all I'm going to do now is I'll do that for the back also with the same method I did here. So I can just help myself by transferring the points. I can help myself by transferring the points with the help of my first square. This is the point I need. I'll transfer it to the other diagonal here. And it must not pass through this pass this line here. So I'll just take my compass, place it at this end, this corner of the box or the back box. I'll place it here and I'll just get this. So and I'll place it here. I'll get the other one. But here, I will not complete this. I'll just stop here. Because I'll be joining this point to this point here. So, I brought other part. If you look at the top right corner, or you look at this figure here. So, I brought out this part. Right? So the next thing we are going to do is we will draw the inner circle. So let us draw the inner circle and see how that will go. And we are told that the inner circle is has a diameter of 16 and the radius is what is 8. So we'll use the radius of 8 to measure that. So you're going to measure radius 8 on your meter rule. From here to here is just radius 8, right? And you place at the center, you mark up, you mark down, you mark left, and you mark right. And you repeat the same process for drawing an isometric circle. If I place it here, I'll have this this way. Place it here, I'll have this this way. Then, on this other point too. So I'm just drawing the line through those points to form a box. That is what I am just doing. Through those points to form a box. Now I've formed this box out here. So we're going to do the same thing. We already have the diagonal already. They have one common diagonal. So where it meets here, I'll draw a line to touch this point. And where it meets here, I'll draw another line to touch this point. So, this is where both of them is meeting. And that is where I'm going to place my compass here to draw the first circle this way. You can see that? Then I'll place it here also. So, at the end of the day, I'll be having something like this. So, this is what I am going to be having, right? Now, having we done that, we'll be doing this next. We'll repeat the same thing at this end. We've done this end. We're going to repeat the same thing at this end. Just like we did this, we'll do this the same thing with the same radius because it's symmetrical. So let's do that and see radius 15. So I'll measure radius 15 on my meter rule. Right? Then I'll place it at this end here. This end. And I'll mark 15 here. Now come here also, mark another 15. Is that again? So at that point, I'll rule lines down. I'm going to rule lines down from those points. Like this. Here. And uh, here. All those points, I'll rule lines down. I'm only replicating the same thing I did earlier. Is that again? Then with the same radius 15, I'll place it at this point. I'll mark down. Right? I'll come here also. I'm going to mark down. 
I'll do the same thing for everything here and here, here and here, including these two here and here. So I'll bring it from the box. You might be wondering what this man doing. So I'll close this up. From here to here, I'm closing it up. I see that. Then I'll bring this down. Then I'll close it up. Then I'll close it up. So I brought out that box. My aim is just to bring out a box. Just like I did earlier. So this is the box I brought out. This box that I brought out. Just like what I did here. I'm replicating it here also. So we'll do the same isometric circle. Draw a diagonal, the longest diagonal, which is this, to pass through the center. I'll be having this. Right? Then you pick a point from here to this end point here. And from here to this end point here. So we've got in our two points. So if you notice on the top right corner, it is just taking half of it. So here also we take half of it. So I am not going to complete the circle. So in doing that, I will just have place my compass here at this point. Get it to this point here. And um, I'll draw this. Right? And I'll come here also at this end. I'll take it to this end. And I'll do this. So we've done that. Right? So that's for the outer one. And I'll do that for the in inside one also. So for this, I don't have to redo that again because of to reduce the amount of lines I have. I will just transfer my point. So in transferring my point on this diagonal, I'll take my T square, moving it on my moving my C square, my T square, and I'll trace this point to this point here. You can see that. Sorry, I'll trace this point. I mean this point to this point here. So with the help of that, I'll just take my compass, place it here with the target here, and I'll just stop here. So that is what we have there. And I will join here together. You can see that. So what do you notice from our diagram? Let me show you. From the end here, a thick line to this end here, right? So that's what I want to do. So I will draw that, draining it from the end there to this end here. So it's from this end straight down to this end. You can see that. So we've drawn that out. Now the next thing you do, <clears throat> we want to we look at our diagram carefully. From this end to this end here is 41. Right? So where this end is the back of the line. Is that again? So I'm going to measure 41 in. So this is what I mean here. So I'll start measuring my 41 from here. I'll measure the 41 because this is also the back this is the back right so so measure my 41 from this back here in here so measure 41 from here so what I'm about to do this is 41 here and it's stopping here so it will be at this point I'm going to draw another circle so with the idea of drawing an isometric circle 
I'm going to apply it here again. So using my C square and T square, I'll close it up. Then I'll come here also. I'm going to close it up. Right to the base, faint line. Then I'll close it up too. You need to watch closely so you don't make a mistake. Then here also, I'll close it up too. So this is where they meet. Don't forget that they meet at this point here. And I'll draw the diagonal at this point. So this is the first diagonal here. Then I can easily transfer the point because since they are all the same circle, I can actually transfer the point. So if I transfer the point of this bigger one here, which is this, right? I'm going to have here yeah, to be the first point. Then I'll go to the other bigger one again. I'm going to have this to be the other point. So no matter what, I'm going to start drawing. So nothing must pass. This. And this. So let me just, what I actually do is just, I repeated, you can repeat this back there, there's no problem, just to reduce the amount of lines. So this is my four cardinal point here. And here too. So, I already have my diag my point on this diagonal here. So I'll just draw a curve. Is that again? I'll draw a curve at this point. Just faint line. So if I place it here, then I'll come to this center here. I'll draw a curve, faint line, just like this. Then I'll come here also. Just draw another curve here, just like this. Let me gauge it. This is what I have, right? Now, then I'll come at this point also. And I'll get this. It is just from here. So what I'm trying to do is, is from here, I'm going to project my line upward to measure my 41. So, since I've done that, I'll start doing this. So from this point, this is the 41 here. So from this circle here, I'll draw a tangential line straight upward like this. Just with the benefit of drawing this. That is the line for that one. Then the other one too, just at this point here. I'll come here also. I'll just draw it up too. So yeah, these two points are very important. Now we cannot start. We know that from this center to this center is 170, just like the question implies. It is 140, sorry to say. Right? So if I have the center of it, that will be 70. So I'm going to measure 70 to get the center of this box here. So like I said, after getting the center here, which is half of, from this point to this point is 70, is 140 half of 140 is 70 right so i projected it up here with my c square now from that point i'll measure 41 is that again so the 41 i measure i will now draw a parallel line to this line using my c square this way now where i draw where the line will meet this line i projected from this circle as tangential where it meets is a point and where the other one here meets another point right so from those points, the, uh, this point you see here is this point here. Is this point here, right? So it means that I'll project it backwards to meet this static in. And the other one too, I'll project it backwards to meet this line here. So I'll take it back like this. So from that point, like I said, I'll place it here, taking it, project it backward to meet this. You can see that? Come to the other one also, project it backward also to meet this. So, since we've done that, I can now take this to this point, taking it. I'll take this to this point, I'll take it. 
so in this line here the distance is given as 15 because it's the same thickness from here to here if you took out the top corner of your screen here to here is 15 right so it means that i'll measure here to here here to here is here to here right so it means from here to here is the same thickness as from here to here and here to here so i'm going to measure those 15 out so let's do that so i'm going to measure the 15. so from this point measure 15 inward which is here i can easily take in it like this now come here also here also i'll measure 15 inward right and i'm going to take it up to that line just like the top right corner is suggesting to this I'll move it inward to this line then here also i'll move it inward to this line then i'll close it up got the top right corner it is closed that again then i'm going to bring this down to meet this point here if I bring this down I realize that at the top right corner if you check there's a line that is drawn in so just like this line that we have here that is drawn in here so I'll do the same thing at this point here where those two circle hit which is this point here now let's take it inward a little bit paint line first that's what we have there and I can easily draw that guy down now to so bringing it down from here to down to this point you can see that and the next one is this coming down to the other point to the top here right then this will come down here to meet this at this point You can see that then i will going to take this inward it's touching here here right then the next one will come here to touch this with a circle you can see that now if i take my compass from this end here to this end here i'll get this right so I'll just place it here to close it up. That's that. Now the next thing is I'm going to close the inside one there. So now from here what is remaining? I'll take it up also to meet this. I'll bring this down here a little bit. Paint line first, then I'll close it up from here to this point. Then I cannot take in this this way. Then this one too, I'll close it up. Right. So what we're trying to draw is this guy here. Look at the top right corner. We're trying to draw this. So we're trying to draw this. Right. So what we'll do is this. We know very well that I will measure 15 from behind here, right? So when I measure 15, I'm going to be having this. Measure 15 from here to this point here is 15. Which is, let me see from this point here, 15. The same thing, to 15. So I'll use that to form my box. So placing my T square, my C square this way. I've drawn this line, it's coming to touch here. So at this point also I'll close it up. Let's see. I'm going to close it up. To touch here. You can see that. So, in doing that, I can actually bring that point down also. So, what I'll do is, 
this point to this point that I draw, I'll draw a diagonal this way. And I'll transfer the points. So if I transfer the point of this bigger diagonal here, right? I'll transfer it to this point here. So this is where I'm going to draw my arc. Draw my arc here. So place it at this point. And I'll just get this this way. You can see that? So I can now take in this outward from this point straight down to this point. I'll take in it. You can see that. So we successfully reproduced the figure at the top right corner of your screen. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.